Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 17 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Uh, three weeks in. Uh, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Count good notes in binary tree. Uh, I usually sub these live, so it was a little bit slow. Watch it on 2x, you know, whatever you need to do. Okay, so given a tree binary, a node x is good, the path of tree has. If in the path of the root to x there are no nodes to the y greater than x, return the number of good nodes in the tr in the binary tree. Nodes in blue are good. There are no good nodes. The from if the path from root to x there are no nodes to the y greater than x. Okay. Oh, x as in the that's the value of the node. Okay. Because I was trying to figure out, I thought for some reason, uh, yeah, I, okay. Uh, this was a little bit awkward because uh, they used the node as the, the container of the value and X as in the, the value of the node. So I got a little confused and I thought that it, X is maybe an input, like, Give me all the good nodes where all the path or whatever is less than three. And then I was like, okay, then in this case, why is three highlighted? Um, okay. But then in this case, it's just... Okay. Um, hmm. Let's think about this one. Well, n is 10 to the fifth. So that means that you probably want something linear. Um, I mean, in theory, n log n work, works okay too. But, but for three problems, hmm... At least until you do stuff like binary lifting or something like that. Uh, n log n doesn't really come up that much. So it's either n or n squared. So you probably want something linear. Um, and probably like a depth first search or something like that. Um, hmm. uh, this kind of explains it a little bit more to my confusion. Um, okay. Hmm. I mean, I think th this is pretty straightforward in that on a record you just do a depth first search or um pre one of the traversals uh and then uh or just do it recursively with the current max value going recursively on the max and if the current node is bigger than that then you, that's the max value that you get or that's that's one of the nodes so okay so there are a couple of ways to do these uh, for tree problems. Uh, one, you know, one that uh, I often do is just have something like da 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 uh, da, and then here I reference here, right? Something like that. Um, but I'm going to do something a little bit different today, where we don't use. A global a slash it's not global global in the sense but it's global in the uh, context of the function but yeah so we can just go um, search of node um, current max as a recursion and then here we can just write uh, we return the root the depth first search of the root and kick it off with um, here, that, that's what I'm looking for is the minimum value for for negative infinity. And in this case, also I'm also double checking whether it can have zero nodes, but uh, but it seems okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll do negative infinity here. So and infinity is equal to negative. But I just want to make sure that because because some if it's only positive, maybe I would choose zero or something like that. But here. Um, we, we choose negative infinity. Max, if node is none, then we just return zero. Otherwise, otherwise count is equal to zero. If node dot value is less than or current. Mm, wait, if node dot value is greater than you go to current max, then count increment by one, and then we just return count plus the first search of node dot left. Mm, okay, that, we, I was going to write it in one line, but but uh, just to make it easier, uh, yeah. Oops. Mm. 
uh, next level max is you go to max of current max oops current max know that value and then next level max plus know that value next level max basically what I'm doing recursively is you, you get this function where um, node is the current node which makes sense and current max is the current is the the max of all the values from the root to the the current node, right? Um, up to not including, right? Um, so that's basically the idea. Uh, let's actually test this before I go on a little bit more, because I don't want to be one of those like like in a movie. You have the evil mastermind explaining the explaining everything and then their plans got foiled by by the the heroes because they were they've been monologuing i want to at least like make sure that it works before the monologuing like in uh uh maybe spoiler alert so maybe i wouldn't you know uh but na name that movie anyway um okay so this looks good as you can see this is just a depth first search uh, re recursion uh we look at each node once and this is actually pre-order traversal so um, you can maybe call this pre-order. I, I, I've been doing too, too much competitive to call everything that first search sometimes, uh, just out of laziness sake. But yeah, this is more of a pre-order as you kind of, you know, process the current node and then add them. You can also do it the other way. It doesn't really more matter. You can do pre-order in order to post-order. It doesn't really matter. So um, as long as it's in some order and some choice. So. Anyway, so the, the time is O of N because... We look at each node once. This is just regular traversal math. And O of H, where H is the height of the tree, because that's the um, that's how much uh, the 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 core stack is going to cost you, um, because that's just how core stacks work. Um, that's all I have for today. Going to keep it short, keep it simple. Uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Hope y'all have a great day. Happy, happy Tuesday. Good mental health, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.